Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to talk about this uh, multi-protocol adapter I got for my Tyrannus to allow me to control uh, toy quadcopters like this Eoshin H8 Mini and I won't have to use these uh, small uh, controllers anymore. Now, I'll put a link in the description to the uh, RC Group's article that covers um, this particular module. It's made by a fellow named Gobish, I believe, and um, I don't know if he sells a lot of these. I think he makes them in, in batches and then puts them out once in a while. So you'll have to uh, check that thread to see if you want if you can buy these. But you can also, um, you know, make these yourself if you have the uh, parts. So this uh, mo this module will cover a number of different. Uh, manufacturers. This is the sheet that um, came with the module. So just to give you a quick look at them, just to give you an idea of what this particular module will cover. And you just use um, um, sticks in a certain position when you turn on the Tyrannus to set the protocol. So this is pretty simple. Um, looks like all I gotta do is uh, create an external module with PPM mode and 12 channels and uh, TAER um, channel order. So I'm going to do that really quick here. Out. A little tricky getting these in here without um, a case. It doesn't come with a case like, uh, like the one that I did for my Spectrum. Uh, I, did, I did a video on how to build one of these for um, um, the Spectrum protocol, and I'll put a link in the description to the video for this. But I used a, this Spectrum DM9 case. It's actually a, a transmitter module from a DX4E that's in here. Uh, but having a case is nicer, just it's easier to pop these in. Okay, so I got that in there. I'm just gonna, just gonna let it hang like this. I'm not gonna put the cover back on. And, uh, Go ahead and set up the model. Welcome to OpenTX. The new model. You run channel three and yawn channel four. I turn the uh, internal module off. PM twelve channels. Now we're going to turn it off, and in the instructions. It says here for the uh, H8 Mini, it's elevator up aileron to the right. Elevator. Okay, so just gonna put the elevator up, the aileron to the right. Turn it on. Welcome to OpenTX. Now, Eoshin H8 Mini. Let's see if it else will mind. So it was a little bit tricky getting this to bind, but uh, I had to turn off the Tyrannus again, and uh, the second time it bound. So I'm gonna try to try one more time uh, while it's record. I was actually pause the recording and try recording this again. So I'm going to um, power off the Tyrannus. I'm gonna power off the Eoshin H8 Mini. So then I turn it on. Power on this guy, and then I think I have to wait a little while before it goes into a bind mode. And I turn on the Tyrannus. Welcome to OpenTX. It starts flashing like that, and it's bound. So I think that what you got to do is you got to turn on the quad first, and then uh, it goes into the this bind mode, is waiting for the radio. And then when you turn on the Tyrannus, 
it will uh, send out the bind sequence to the quad and now it's working. Okay, so let me go give this a fly. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fly the uh, AHA and H8 Mini here with the Tyrannus with the special module and I added 45% um, expo on the yaw and 30% expo on the ailerons and uh, elevator. Uh, just because I know that the rate's pretty high for this. Definitely uh, a lot more control than with the toy controller. Oh yeah. Whoa! Thing is wicked. And my battery is going. Okay, so flying this toy with the Tyrannus and the uh, special module here is a lot more fun than with that small tiny controller. Um, yeah, this is really, uh, I'm looking forward to flying this thing. This is, uh, flies fantastic with this, uh, with the Tyrannus. Uh, look forward to more videos coming. Stay tuned to my channel.